Hi there, my name is Cassie Wesolowski and today I'm going to be talking about assistive technology that can be used in the classroom for students with autism spectrum disorder. As you can see, there's lots of stuff that you can use just in the classroom for students with autism spectrum disorder. Today we're only going to talk about a few of them. Students with autism or Asperger's syndrome sometimes experience difficulty with handwriting that can be improved using special tools and techniques. There are many aids that are actually available to help children learn how to write. One very important tool to have in the classroom is a slanted writing desk or other surface. Many times you can use a three inch three ring binder turned to the side as a sufficient writing surface, just like this one. This will help the autistic child who has difficulty maintaining a handwriting position for long periods of time. Kids with autism may also struggle with pencil holding and pressure. They may grasp and press down too tightly and cause the writing utensil to break frequently. Or they may grip the pencil too loosely so that it wobbles. In either case, the student may benefit from the use of a pencil grip such as this one that helps you to place your fingers appropriately on the pencil and reduce fatigue from writing. Teaching typing and computer skills to students with autism may be an even more beneficial lesson than manual handwriting, in which case using a computer or an AlphaSmart in the classroom for writing or note-taking may prove beneficial. In using an AlphaSmart, the student need only type using the keyboard, much like a computer keyboard. The words will then appear on this screen and can be downloaded onto a computer. Some students with autism have issues with sensory processing. Sometimes students are hypersensitive to touch, taste, or sound, while others are constantly seeking it out. For students who are hypersensitive to sound, a simple pair of over-the-head style headphones like these can help to block out additional environmental sounds that may prove distracting. For students who are seeking sensory input, a wiggle seat can prove helpful. Sitting is often very difficult for children with autism, and the wiggle seats help children sit in chairs while receiving constant sensory input. As you can see, there's these little nodes on top of the wiggle seat that provide deep pressure input, which help the child to feel more secure. Since students with autism spectrum disorder are nonverbal, for students like this, a teacher may choose to use a picture communication system. Picture communication systems require not much more than a magazine full of pictures, a pair of scissors, a notebook, and some Velcro. At first, the child is given a set of pictures of favorite foods or toys, like this one says bubbles. When the child wants one of these items, he gives the picture to a communication partner, like a teacher or an aide, and then the communication partner then hands the child the food or the toy. This exchange reinforces communication. Picture communication systems can also be used to make comments about things seen or heard in the environment. For example, a child might see an airplane overhead and hand a picture of an airplane to his or her parent or teacher. As the child begins to understand the usefulness of communication, the hope is that he will then begin to use natural speech. As you can see, today we've talked about several pieces of technology that can be used in the classroom for students with autism spectrum disorder. These are only a few. Thanks so much!